thank you for coming to this talk about Galileo, a social computing system that supports citizen-led experimentation. My name is Vineet Pandey, and I'm the lead author and researcher for this work. The key social computing insight from Galileo is that supporting complex knowledge activities like experimentation requires procedural support, which is knowing how to do something, alongside conceptual knowledge, which is knowing what to do. The Galileo system takes this insight and bakes it into three roles, that of an experiment designer, a reviewer, and an experiment participant. And in field studies, Galileo provided good usage data with people designing structurally sound experiments and running them with their communities. There are two motivations for this work. One comes from the field of citizen science. Citizen scientists provide a lot of useful data and insights when experts provide them with the contribution mechanisms. The second motivation comes from the field of interactive HCI systems research, where prior work has supported some aspects of scientific inquiry, such as collaborative ideation and synthesis. However, more complex knowledge tasks like experimentation are still left behind. And there are real needs for this. People might have intuitions and folk theories that could be useful for scientists and for people's own lives. People could design and run experiments to test these out. The concrete research contribution made by this work is a demonstration that people can collaboratively design and run experiments without involving experts. The key concern for supporting citizen-led experimentation is that people don't know what makes for an experiment and how to design one. Take for example, this idea that kombucha helps the gut. People need to operationalize this to a hypothesis before continuing on with the next steps of experiment design. Step one in Galileo is the design workflow that supports people in creating an experiment design by providing procedural support. Such procedural support takes the form of examples, templates, pre-populated texts, and other details that help people convert their ideas to specific concrete artifacts as part of the experiment design. The second step is the review step where community members use questions provided by Galileo to review an experiment. Here you see an instance of someone providing feedback on the control condition of an experiment designed for kombucha. And finally, automated routines and just-in-time data prompts support people in providing their data at the right time. The key takeaway for people designing such systems is that complex work like experimentation requires different roles, which need to be supported by multiple kinds of knowledge and skills, which can be thought of as conceptual and procedural knowledge. Two studies tested the efficacy of Galileo. In the first study, participants from Open Humans, American Gut, and Coursera online platforms designed and reviewed experiments. 54 users from 16 countries created 66 experimental designs and provided more than 200 comments to each other. The average design score was 10 on 13. The raters were all trained in experimental design, and many experiments drew from people's lived experience, such as Drinking kombucha regularly reduces joint inflammation. This is an example of two popular themes on the platform, diet and alternative treatments. There are more details in the paper, so I would love for you to check those out. The URL is bit.ly slash Galileo hyphen Chi21. In the second study, three communities designed and ran experiments. The most promising experiment came from the kombucha community, where 36 participants from six countries drank kombucha or did not drink kombucha to test the efficacy of kombucha on stool consistency. And they found that people not drinking kombucha had their stool consistency slightly worse off than people drinking kombucha. Unsurprisingly, citizen-led participation comes with multiple challenges, such as finding participants, running effective pilots, and tracking participant adherence. We have provided details about how Galileo supports these in the paper itself. Finally, the key social computing insight, insight is to think about complex activities in terms of procedural support with conceptual knowledge. The Galileo system provides one way to do this for citizen-led experimentation and shows good results. We would like to thank our sponsors and others who contributed to this work. Thank you very much. I'd love to take your questions.